We're asked to sketch a graph of the function f of x equals negative one minus two sine of pi over three times the quantity x minus two. Let's begin by determining the values of a, b, d, and c, which will indicate the transformation of the given function. Notice a, the coefficient of sine is negative two because of the subtraction. The amplitude is equal to the absolute value of a. The absolute value of negative two is positive two. However, because a is negative, we do have a reflection across the midline, so let's indicate this. When a is positive, we do not have a reflection across the midline. Next, notice b is equal to pi over three. The period is equal to two pi divided by b, and therefore the period is two pi divided by pi over three. Let's simplify this to determine the period. Two pi divided by pi over three is equivalent to two pi over one times the reciprocal of pi over three, which is three over pi. Simplifying before multiplying, there's one pi and pi here and here, and two times three is six, which means the period is six radians. Next, d is equal to positive two. To determine the value of d, we need to have subtraction here, which we do. So because d is equal to positive two, the phase shift or horizontal shift is right two radians. And then finally C, the constant term is negative one. Because C is negative one, we have a vertical shift of down one unit. Because we have a vertical shift of down one unit, the midline is no longer the x-axis or y equals zero. The midline is y equals negative one. And now to graph the function, let's first sketch the midline which again is y equals negative one. Because the amplitude is positive two and the midline is y equals negative one, the maximum function value is negative one plus two, which is positive one, and the minimum function value is negative one minus two, which is negative three. Normally we graph the basic sine function starting at the origin, but because we have a phase shift or horizontal shift of right two units, we will graph the given function starting at x equals two, which is here. Because the period is six radians and two plus six is eight, we will graph one complete period of the given function from x equals two to x equals eight. When graphing the basic sine function over one period, we divide the period into four equal subintervals and follow the pattern of midline, maximum, midline, minimum, and midline. But this is the pattern when A is positive. Remember in our case, A is negative, and therefore we have a reflection across the midline, and the pattern will be midline, minimum, midline, maximum, and midline. Let's first define the period from x equals two to x equals eight into four equal subintervals. And now because of the reflection across the midline, we will follow the pattern of midline minimum, midline maximum, and midline. Starting at x equals two, we are at the midline or function value of negative one, and down to the minimum of negative three, back to the midline, up to the maximum of one, and then back to the midline. So the graph of f of x over the interval from x equals two to x equals eight looks something like this which we can now copy and paste over a larger interval or simply continue to follow the pattern. Continuing to the right, we would be at the minimum of negative three here, and then graphing to the left, we'd be at a maximum here, at the midline here, at a minimum here, and then back to the midline here. Using the graphing tool, because we have a graph of a sine function, I would use this tool here. Once we click on this, we simply click on a point on the midline and then a maximum or minimum. For example, if we click on this graphing tool, we could click on this point here at the midline and then this point here, which is a minimum, and the function will be graphed correctly over the entire interval. I hope you found this helpful.